Oh, for... Ah! Language. Who's that for? Tony. You're wasting your time. You won't want it. Who asked you? Morning. Breakfast on the table? Mum, I don't want you to think I've been ungrateful. Well, I can't eat that. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Not today. I ain't got time. Then you should make time. Sorry, Mum. I've got to go. I want to get paper. See you later. Bye. See? I was only thinking of Tony. Perhaps if he'd taken better care of himself, he wouldn't... Wouldn't what? Oh, what a waste. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Why don't you have it? After all, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You all right? Look. Council has seedy sex life. Well, what happened? I thought you said you'd let it drop. I did. Holly. Who else? She must have been manipulating the wife behind me back all along. Bunch of scumbags. Well, what are you going to do? What do you think? I'm going to sort her out, aren't I? Council has seedy sex life exposed by spurn wife. How could you do it? I didn't. I don't believe you. I don't care what you believe. It wasn't me. Only right now, I wish it was my story. Well, Mrs Dixon must have got the pictures from somewhere. Yes, but it wasn't from me. So you say. Look, I don't care if you believe me or not. The point is, Dixon's finished and neither of us got the story. <laughs> Getting the story, it's all you care about. Well, it's my job, Tony. Dixon's a rotten apple who got what he deserved, so does it really matter? Of course it matters. Our story was about corruption, not his sex life. But that's what sells. Well, it's disgusting. I got some of those bags to the vacuum eventually. Also, I got a bit of lamb. What for? Tonight's tea. Yeah, well, we might be eating out. Why don't you ask first? Tony, you always like to proper cook meal in the evenings. Right, like you'd know, wouldn't you? And oh, by the way, there's plenty of those bags in the cupboard under the stairs. Right, I've done some digging. My mate at the agency says Mrs Dixon had the photos delivered anonymously. She's put up with them having affairs for years, finding out about Jamie was the final straw. She had the photos blown up, phoned the papers, got them round to witness his humiliation and then did an interview. It's her who's out to nail him, not me. A mess. Isn't it just? Look, I'm sorry for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, well, I would have probably done the same thing. But can we call a truce? Yeah. Why not? Suppose the results are the same in the end, though, isn't it? Yeah, Dixon's finished. I wanted to expose him for his sleazy little deals, not his sex life. Yeah, but you stood up to Pollock. For what it was worth. Yeah, but it's worth a great deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Takes a lot of bottle to stand by your convictions. Oh, she's an experienced journalist, then you're just a novice. It's <laughs> probably why. For novice, read naive. No. Decent. You should be proud of yourself. You never give up, do you? Someone's got to make sure Tony eats properly. It's a bit late to stop worrying about him now, isn't it? What time will he be home? Don't matter. We're going out. I said so earlier. I'll ask Tony when he gets in. Tony's already decided. Don't you ever listen. We're going out. Will you stop trying to organise us? All I'm interested in is Tony. Yeah, well, he's an adult. He can take care of himself. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. He's had his head filled up with some pretty funny ideas lately. Meaning? He should be married, or at least settle down with some nice girl. Instead, he's got you messing up his mind. Oh, we had all this with his father, and we don't need it from you as well. Look, Tony is gay. We're a couple. Why can't you just leave us alone? Oh, what, so you can get your claws even deeper into him? Oh, yeah. And what are you trying to do? I'm his mother! You are an evil-minded woman who's full of guilt because you walked out on him when he was a kid. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it is. You don't care about Tony, or Sarah, for that matter. God knows why you came back here in the first place. I came back here to look after him and his sister. Yeah, well, they didn't need you then. They certainly don't need you now. I can't believe I'm listening to this. Yeah, well, you think about it tonight while we're out, me and Tony. <laughs>